Racing. And Daddy's Little Darling with Kathy's song amongst the first to commence. Coach Whip's going fast from the outside stall in search of the lead. New Money Honey close handy over the dirt crossing, followed by Bo Recall. Kathy's song drifting back near the inside to midfield, being passed down the outside by Desert Duchess. With just over a mile to go, it's Coach Whip in front, crossing to the rail, leading by one length to New Money Honey. Daddy's Little Darling on the inside. From Desert Duchess, a trifle wide, and Beau recalled Splits Horses fifth, one length to Kathy's Song, followed by Pants on Fire, Bernina Star, and four lengths to Madame Dancelot. Less than seven eighths to travel. Coach Whip has the lead, half a length, New Money Honey. Daddy's Little Darling sharing third position with Desert Duchess on the swing out of the stretch, followed by Beau Recall, four lengths off a steady tempo. Kathy's Song next on the rail. A length and a half to Pants on Fire, Bernina Star, and five lengths last is Madame Dancelot. Into the back to Terrain. It's Coach Whip by three parts of a length to New Money Honey. Just over a length to Daddy's Little Darling, smothered away third on the inside of Desert Duchess, followed by Bo Recall outside Kathy's Song, each with five lengths to pick up. Next is Pants on Fire, Bernina Star, eight from the lead and three clear of Madame Dancelot, coming past the half mile. And it's Coach Whip the Grey by three quarters to New Money Honey. It's been a steady tempo. Daddy's Little Darling third, no changes in structure. Desert Duchess is fourth, Kathy's Song fifth. Followed by Beau Recall, and then comes Pants on Fire at the 5 16s from Bernina Star and Madame Dancelot to the quarter pole in the American Oaks. Here's New Money Honey being revved up by Castellano, taking the lead from Coach Whip, who fights on well. A length and a half, Kathy Song in behind them, followed by Daddy's Little Darling, who's into the clear. And down the outside, Madame Dancelot is coming with a rush at the 16th pole, and Madame Dancelot's trying to get to Daddy's Little Darling. They move past New Money Honey. Daddy Daddy's Lil Darling from Madame Dancelot. Daddy's Lil Darling beats Madame Dancelot half a length. Kathy Song two lengths away third. Then New Money Honey and Bo Recall ran fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back the winner of the Grade 1 American Oaks, Daddy's Lil Darling, a bay daughter of Scat Daddy and the Houston Mayor, Miss Hot Salsa. Bred in Kentucky and raised by Normandy Farm, trained by Ken McPeak, ridden by Mike Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, in the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation for the American Oaks, please welcome a rising superstar in our industry, TVG's Brittany Erton.
the grade one American Oaks goes to Daddy's Little Darling, and I'm joined by Kenny McPeak, the trainer. Kenny, this filly just seems to be so unlucky, but she got her grade one today. Did you just know what was going to happen? Yeah, well, you know what? She really felt like she was coming to form. You know, my team at Keeneland, Mike Clyer, has handled her a lot for us. You know, he takes her out with the pony. She needs a, a little bit of special attention. Um, other than the bad post position she had as a two-year-old and the kind of the freaky circumstance she had in England, she never does anything wrong. She's an easy filly to be around. I'm really proud of the fact today she ran without Lasix and did this. And I would have loved to have had a shot at Enable last summer. But um, the next year maybe is even better. We'll see. We'll take it up with Mrs. Polk and the team at Normandy Farm. And if they're up for it, I'd love to have her next year. Now Mike Smith got aboard here for the first time today. You said she's pretty easy to be around, but is she quirky to ride? She gets a little sensitive in her mouth every now and then because she's a filly that pulls a bit. I gave him that info. You know, you don't have to give much instructions to Mike. It was up to him, and obviously he figured out first dance. This is the filly that was second in the grade one Kentucky Oak. She runs on anything. Is it easier or harder to have a horse like that that you can just throw in any spot? Well, I think, I think a good horse runs over about any surface given the opportunity, but I've always felt like she was a better grass horse in the long run. Um, I think they, you know, probably a little bit easier on her because she gets it, gets over it. But she's such a long strided filly, and I think at a, even a mile and a half, she'd be really good. So um, it's a good problem to have. Congratulations. Thank you.